First off, pie is what your mama bakes in the oven on a Sunday afternoon. This one is a Greek letter. And uh, you know the Greeks have a full alphabet, you know, 24 upper and lowercase characters on this kitty mat. You can see some of them. So there is the letter pi for it, but it's not pronounced as pi, it's pronounced as p. So, and it's cognate or equivalent to the English letter or sound p, as in Polish. Okay, so this one says podilato for bicycle, but it doesn't work in English that way. Okay, so it's the same letter as letter P in the Latin alphabet. No, we don't use English alphabet. If you're watching it in English, you're using a Latin alphabet. All right, welcome to reality. There's the uppercase character, so that's the lowercase one. Okay, back to geometry. Another Greek term. No, it's not an English word either. A circle I'm going to make a super fast circle a circle is where a number is abbreviated with that Greek character that number is 3.1415 blah 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 it's got more digits okay it is an infinite number and infinite decimal number so that's not the end of the number and it is a quotient why do I write that one I'm gonna write here quotient by definition quotient is the result I'm gonna abbreviate result of division okay so some division takes place and then you have a result, for example, here is 5, oh, that's a bad number right away. How about 10? 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 2 is the quotient, okay? 10 is the divise, dividend, 5 is the divisor, 2 is the quotient, all right? So, pi, the number that's abbreviated with the character, with the Greek character there, is a quotient so there was some division that took place and the division is where's my piece of wire is this this is the diameter of the circle here all right i'm gonna draw a straight line with this fancy ruler here yeah that's just a piece of wood otherwise known as a door shim so there is your diameter and you take this diameter and then you bend it around the circumference and make it flat so it doesn't stick out there, almost there just give me a sec I will make it nice like your mama bakes a pie on a Sunday afternoon well I hope your mama does my mama does so there is the diameter so that's, I'm just going to go diameter, that's once. And that's the diameter twice. And that's the diameter three times. Plus a little bit there. Uh, you can't really see that one. I'm just going to go with a big arrow like so. That's the little remainder. Alright. So the circumference was taken. And the diameter goes into it three times plus a wee bit. Yeah, there's your wee bit. Okay? So, pi is a number. Is the quotient of the circle's circumference and diameter. Alright? That's what pi is. And how that 0.1415 and the rest of the digits came about is fairly straightforward you're gonna have to zoom in yeah I'm gonna zoom in this way so you can see this one because magic happens right around here I'm gonna straighten the same piece of wire of course it's approximate and it's a small circle but you'll get the idea okay let's see how many times the diameter goes into that little thing that little leftover circumference there is that's one 
twice. Not uh, not the di yeah okay not the diameter goes into it. In this case, the little leftover, the real remainder goes into the diameter. This in this way, but you'll see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and about seven, because it ends there. All right. So this, so that remainder is one seventh of the diameter. All right, because that little remainder goes into the diameter about seven times. About. All right. So that number, the decimal number there, is not equivalent, but approximately equivalent to three and one seventh. All right, if you convert 1 over 7 into fractions, it's going to be something like that, kind of close. There are better fractions for it, and there's a greater degree of precision. But uh, bottom line, pi, that kind of pi, is a quotient, the quotient of a circle's circumference and diameter, and that's how we got to it. It's not a magic number. All right, no, the aliens are not coming just yet.